Hey there everyone, Jonathan Silva here from Pragmatic Works. For this video, we are gonna focus on working with the format date time expression in Power Automate. And what I wanna do is show you a couple ways on how to get there. All right, so here we have the new Copilot designer that I'm gonna be working with to be able to just store a new date in a different format using the expression called format date time. Now, if you take a look, I'm just gonna go run a quick test on this to see the outcome of this flow. And what you'll notice when I run this flow, it's very quick when an item's created in SharePoint, I have two different dates that I wanna go ahead and look at. The first is from a column here called date of request. Okay, and you can see the inputs that's passed out is gonna give us this output. So I have my date time format in a year, month, day format taken directly from SharePoint. And of course, that's done on purpose because that is a how SharePoint can go ahead and sort and index those date fields. Okay, so you can have that year, month, day format. Now, if I, I'll go into another one, say the created on date, what you'll notice is it's pretty similar. We have that year, month, day format, but also has the time in there as well. And what I would like to do is to essentially take those, those fields and format them in just a different way to display. So instead of year, month, day, perhaps I want day, month, year, or I want the full name of the day followed by the month name, followed by the year, whatever it may be. All right, so I wanna go ahead and format that date time value here. Now the way to do that is by going in, editing your flow, going into the, the actual input here, I'm gonna go and work with that dynamic content and remove the dynamic content from my compose here that's just helping me store the, the value. And I can come in here and I'll go over and go to my expression editor. In fact, I'm just gonna close our little copilot uh, pop out as well. And here in my expression editor, I'll go nice and full screen on it. What I want to do is utilize the format date time expression. The format date time, if I just type in F-O-R, you can see there's format date time, and then put in open parentheses. What this will do is gonna allow us to pass in a date and set that as a string, whatever format we want. So to start off, you're gonna use format date time, go to your dynamic content and choose the field that you want to format. So for this one, it is of course, date of request. And there is my column, my field that I'm formatting. Next, I can pass in a comma, and then this is gonna be the actual format that I want to utilize. So in this case, if I wanna put my format, I have to start off with a single quote. You can see even here, it is gonna tell you that you need that single quote in there. And then inside of the single quote, you can go ahead and add in the formatting. The formatting can be D for day, M for month, or capital M for month, Y for year, if you're just looking at the date level. You can add in lowercase m for minutes, each for hour, S for second, if you wanna go all the way into the time formatting as well. So in this case, if I wanted to say the full name of the day, then comma, then I wanna put in um, the day, so let's, I'll say maybe Thursday, five September, or, or I'll do month, the full name of the month, day level, comma, one, two, three, four, for the year. And this will go ahead and set up my date to be in a format that says something like, let's say we're gonna go with Thursday, November, nine, 2023, right? Some type of format like that. That's the format that we're trying to get out of this just by passing in those fields. And you can set this up in any type of format you want just by moving around those letters. So that's the way I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And that's what we have. And we can go ahead and pass in those parameters there. And you can see I can do the same thing over here for my created date. I can just come in here remove that piece of dynamic content in my inputs, go over to my expression. I'll do it with this little one here. We're gonna go format date time, open parentheses, 
go find the dynamic content. I do like that we can now search for it here in passing created and do a different format. Maybe this time I want it to be our day, month, year format with a three letter abbreviation of the day. And then I want a leading zero for the day number as well. Once I do it like that, hit add. I can then save and test this once more, and you'll see that we now have a new difference in the formatting. And of course, this is all with the new Copilot designer. Let me go ahead and test this real quick, and I'm gonna show you what our output looks like with our recent trigger here. All right, and now that my flow has run successful, we can go in and check out, there it is, our date of request. We can see that it's now in that new format that I want to have it. There it is, Thursday, November 9, 2023. I'm missing that leading zero just because I put in one D for day. But if I go into my other compose here for the created on date, you can see there I have a different format. Now we can pass those in many different ways here. In fact, if you wanted to add in um, a language conversion, you can do that as an optional parameter right after your date there, just add another comma and pass in your, your language code. And you can have that automatically translated into another language as well. Now that's how we can do that writing the, the expression here in with the editor itself. There is another way that might be a little bit easier for some of us using the classic designer here. You'll notice I have pretty much the same thing, my right? date of request. It's just a different list that I'm pulling from and create a date. In this case, what you'll notice is it's going to be very similar, right? Just looking at the exact same dates. But if I want to format this date of request, maybe in a different way, here within the classic designer, instead of going to expression and typing it in, what we can do is remove that date of request, go to our expression and use the format data by examples option instead. Now here in this classic designer with format data by example, all you'll need to do is click on that, pass in the field that you want to format, give it the sample format it's already in, no matter if it's the correct data or not, just passing in data here, then tell it your desired format in the end. So if I wanted this to, I could just put in DEC because it's I see the 12th there, the 12th month. I can see these are all the suggested transformations that I can choose from, including the word, the two letters DE for December. I can say, oh, I like this one. This is like what I had earlier with the Copilot designer. I want that one. Now I can just choose get expression and it builds out the expression for you. You don't even need to copy it because you could just select apply here at the bottom. Notice it does add in that optional parameter for your locale there. So for your language settings, English US is the default here because I am in the United States. If you're outside of the United States, wherever your default settings are for that tenant and that machine, that's what you're gonna be seeing there. If I like that, I can just go ahead and hit apply. And that is how quick and easy it is with that classic designer to format the date time. Same thing here with my created date. I can go into expression, format data by examples. And here once more, I can just go ahead and search for created and then pass in another value. Maybe I put in a different year and maybe I do uh, 0112. And I can come out here and say, all right, I want it to say, um, JN in there for the first month of January, I want it to be right here. And you know what? It actually doesn't have the value I want, so I can change it up. Maybe I want it to say 12 dash Jan. So you can see, type it in, tell it what type of transformation you want. And that's where it can build it. And I can get expression. And there you see, it just builds out your expression in a different way. I can apply, save and go. And so it's much easier actually with this classic designer with format data by example currently to be able to get all that done. I could just go ahead and test this once more and let's see that output we have here to work with. And so here we are, we've run the flow successful. Of course, we're not doing much here, but now I can see, look at my input. It gives me the same one I have over here. 
the same structure, but now it's just a lot easier to create because you don't even have to know the code here. I can go into my, my created date. There's my same input and output. I can come here, create it on. It's the same thing, except we don't actually need to know the code in this case. So it does give us a little bit of an easier way to build out the expression with that classic designer using format data by example. So I encourage you to try both. Try either way, see which one sticks for you and how we want to use this in the future.